and um, I'm making this video to share my story um, in hopes that my story can inspire others and I don't know I was hesitant on making this video for a lot of reasons and you understand why when I get more into it um, but um, here I am in front of the camera so I'm gonna share it when I was 19 years old um, I ended up getting pneumonia and a virus that led to me becoming very weak gradually and becoming sick day by day and every day that passed by um, it just got worse and worse I would go to the hospital constantly and they would they wouldn't know what was wrong they would just assume it was the flu and pump my body full with antibiotics it got to the point where I started becoming I started relying constantly on oxygen and my wheelchair um, I became wheelchair bound because I wasn't able to walk I wasn't able to do the most simplest things that anyone could do by br like brushing your hair or brushing your teeth or simply washing dishes or even walking to the, the kitchen I couldn't do things like that it got to the point where I just couldn't do anything for myself I, mean, I lost all my independence it got to the point where no doctor, every doctor was confused on why this is happening, what's happening. So I would say almost close to a year, I was completely wheelchair bound and wasn't able to do anything for myself. My mom rushed me to the hospital. When I went to the ER, um, they put hundreds of wires around me, around my heart, doing EKGs and running every test possible you could think of. When the doctor came back in, he told my mother and my boyfriend that I would, I would have to be rushed into surgery because there was fluid surrounding my heart. And once that fluid reached inside my heart, I would end up passing away. So I was rushed to, I was rushed in surgery. When I was rushed into surgery, they took out 600 cc of fluid, that's the size of basically a wine bottle. After that surgery, the next, I was in ICU, the next couple days I went back into surgery for lung surgery. Um, after that, um, I was put with a team of doctors. Now this team, I owe them my life. I really do. They were the most amazing team ever because they figured out what was wrong with me. They figured out what was wrong with me and um, they diagnosed me not with one but three autoimmune diseases. The first autoimmune disease was a rare muscle disease. Its name is dermatomyositis. Um, what dermatomyositis is, it's a muscle disease that attacks my skeletal muscles, my breathing muscles, and my swallowing muscles. Um, also attacks my immune system where instead of fighting for me, it fights against me. Um, by an example of what I mean by by that is um, ever since having this muscle disease basically if I have an infection a small infection it becomes a larger problem for me where I end up in the hospital maybe for a month maybe for three months for a very long time um, so the muscle disease it's very complicated. It's so it's such a complicated disease. One day I could be fine, where I could have enough strength to go cook or comb my hair. The next day I'm not even able to walk, and I'm in bed the whole day, sleeping maybe 12 hours, 14 hours a day. The muscle disease, unfortunately, 
takes kind of control over my body to the point where I sometimes don't have any control of what it wants. The next disease is Sjogren syndrome, which is a disease that attacks my saliva glands throughout my body, which I don't produce tears like I should, um, well, as much as I should, and I don't produce as much saliva as I should in my mouth. Um, it also affects organs and it's an autoimmune disease that affects your body as well when it comes to fatigue and everything. Um, the last one is pulmonary fibrosis, NSIP. It's a rare lung disease that um, it affects the tiny sacs in my lungs. And um, there's days where I'm on oxygen the whole day. And there's days that I can't get from point A to point B without being out of my that when the doctors came in, they had told me the only thing that would basically put a pause on it, like, just like, hold it back, would be chemotherapy and prednisone. Um, I've been on chemotherapy for, since 2013 and prednisone, and I've also been on IVIG. I've been on Actar gel injections, which is meant for people with MS, but I've tried it. I've tried about every medication you could think of possibly to help autoimmune diseases. Unfortunately, I was like, there. since being on the chemotherapy and the prednisone and all the other medications since 2013, it's um it's affected my life completely it's i want this video to be as raw as it could be so i'm just gonna be like i guess like straight up like i said i like i'm very hesitant on showing i guess vulnerability and showing people a side of me that I hide like I tend to keep a lot of things to myself when it comes to my health because a lot of people either don't understand or don't even take the time to understand and just say you know you're 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 gonna be fine and I love the positivity I really do but I think more people should know what people like people that have disabilities or people or people that are sick what they go through because we go through a lot <laughs> now the reason why I've been holding my hand over my mouth is because since being diagnosed with all these diseases and being on all of the medication, it's ruined my teeth to the point where I hardly have any. And I get judged a lot for it. A lot. <laughs> Ever since getting diagnosed, <laughs> I feel, I feel like sometimes this happened for a reason because it's opened my eyes to how cruel the world could be, how mean people could be. Ever since getting diagnosed, I feel, I feel like sometimes this happened for a reason because it's opened my eyes to how cruel the world could be, how mean people could be. It's opened my eyes never to judge someone. Always to hear their story. <laughs> Always to give people a chance. <laughs> Cause you just never know what someone's going through. <laughs> My life has never been easy with my health because I've, since 
I was 11, I'd been diabetic, and that's a rough disease, but since being diagnosed with all these diseases, it's impacted my life in, in such a big way. <laughs> I'm as positive as someone, I'm as positive as they can be sometimes, but I'm a human being. And I have my days where I just want to give up and where I'm just tired of fighting physically and mentally. (sighs) But I do have a good support team. I have my husband, I have my family. My husband and my mom, they're my everything. I want to share my story because I know, I know I'm not the only, I'm not the only person that that goes through something that that feels that what I'm saying is that I know I'm sure there's people that feel the same way that I do I was hesitant on making a GoFundMe because I'm not the type to ask for help and stuff right I don't I guess like asking for help I like giving out help um, in order to fix my teeth, I've been to so many dentists. All the prices have been forty thousand, fifty thousand for implants. In the beginning, when my teeth were chipping away due to the illnesses and everything. I wasn't able to act on it. I wasn't able to fix them when it started happening because I was on high doses of prednisone and everything. And I have fought for the longest to get off of prednisone. The longest. And I finally did it. And um, when I went to go check, you know, what procedure I can do with my teeth, I was told that nothing could be saved because of the infections in my mouth and how bad it has gotten due to the illnesses and the prednisone affecting it, my Sjogren syndrome affecting it, and so much more, especially the chemotherapy with me throwing up and then enamel just disappearing. And the doctor had told me it would be 34000 Plus the cost of bone loss, plus the cost of any damages that go along the way with waiting until I get the money to do it. Now, I was hesitant on doing the GoFundMe because, like I said, I'm I like to give out help, not like I guess receive it, you know. Um, this video is. help me share my story but also share my my link to my GoFundMe and everything I really want to fix my teeth because it's put a pause on my life like I used to love singing I I love I I love going out and laughing and enjoying myself and I'm not able to do that unfortunately now because when I laugh and I smile people judge me quickly you know they don't take the time to get to know my story they just assume real quick and people treat you differently if you look a certain way it's sad but it's true um, a lot of people I guess are also confused on Oh, why, why, you know, they think I'm choosing to get a smile because I I just want a smile. That's not the case because it'll change my life, like how I feel about myself. But it'll also change my life in a way where I will be able to do things that I have, things I can't do because of my health issue with my mouth. Really hesitant on showing my teeth, but (sighs) 
I don't show anybody my teeth unless they're family. But I'm like honestly trying to be so brave right now. So here's my teeth. I lost all of them, mostly. It's hard for me to share this because, like I said, <laughs> I've been made fun of. <laughs> I've been judged. <laughs> I've gone through so much since being diagnosed. I just kind of want to break from everything. I want to break from negativity. I want to break from... I just want to have... I just want to enjoy life. Because tomorrow's never promised. And doctors always give me... Doctors always give me a time, basically a time limit, you could say. I'm supposed to... Some doctors disagree and some doctors agree that I'm supposed to get a lung transplant because of how bad my lungs are. Well, my right lung more than my left. Um... And they say, well, some doctors say six to 13 years with my lungs. And one thing I've learned, being sick. When doctors tell me something that I can't do, I make sure I do it. When a doctor told me I wouldn't be able to walk again until six months, I made that into two weeks. When a, when a doctor said you couldn't, you're never gonna get off the prednisone. It may have been years, but I got off of it. I fight every day. Not just for me, but I fight for my mom. I fight for my husband. I fight for my family. I'm just this video is just for me asking other people to help me fight because I'm pretty tired <clears throat> I'm pretty drained at this point <laughs> if you guys are willing to help me fight to help me in this journey either by sharing my video by donating by buying a shirt it would mean the world to me it really would I honestly want to be I honestly want to become an advocate for people like me because a lot of people stay quiet or a lot of people don't have support <laughs> and I know I know what depression is because of these diseases <laughs> one thing I've learned is always be kind to others and <laughs> never judge a book by its cover uh, if you stayed on this video for 23 minutes, God bless you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I hope I covered everything. Anyways, thank you so much. And God bless you. If you guys have any questions or anything, be free to message me. Um... All the links will be down below. Okay. Bye, guys.